Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a blanket fade in Lightroom. Normally this can be done in Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop or you're not familiar with the tools, it can still be achieved in Lightroom pretty easily. So I'm going to show you um, using this photo today. It's already been edited and whatnot. Um, I already did you know, the, the editing on it. I'm just going to be showing you how to fill in the background. So you're wanting to do a blanket fades if you're doing more studio work with newborns with backdrops that have some wrinkles in them or even have a whole piece that's missing altogether. So I'm going to show you how to fill this in and kind of smooth out the wrinkles and make it more blurry. So I'm going to show you how to go from this to this in just a couple of steps. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go back to this image and I'm going to create a virtual copy. I just right click and create a virtual copy so we can just work with this photo. Okay, so what I'm going to start out by doing is I'm going to come up here to the spot removal tool. I'm going to click on it and I want to make sure that I am on the clone tool. So you're going to see the different brushes, the clone and the heel. So uh, first I'm going to fill in this area and I want it to be cloned because I want all of this background area to be gone completely. If I were to choose heal, it wouldn't um, provide the same effect. So since we're working with such a large area to um, fill in, I'm going to choose a pretty big brush. Um, that way I don't have a lot of little brush circles. So I'm going to just choose a really big brush and I can adjust it later if I need to. So I'm going to click on the area that I want to cover up and then I'm going to choose my selection from over here. So there we go. I just want to fill in this area um, with a similar background. So I can kind of see some edging here so I'm going to um, create our I'm going to make my brush a little bigger by pulling this down now you see if I were to pull it too much then it's going to go into this um, this texture and I don't want that to happen so that's pretty good and then I'm going to use my s the scroller on my mouse to kind of um, decrease my brush size and I'm just going to go over this section right here and you can overlap it somewhat but you get to a point where you can't overlap it too much so I'm going to overlap it right about here and I'm going to choose a selection that's over here and what we're doing with the cloning tool I have it the opacity set at 100 we're basically swapping out pixels so I'm taking this area is now over here it's cloned exactly now I can come over here and change the opacity and you can see how that's changed. But I'm going to just keep it at 100 for now because I want this area completely gone. So I'm going to increase the brush size and I have one more spot over here. I even want to get rid of this, um, this shadow. So I'm going to just make this brush like that and go over it. and then I can increase the brush and that looks pretty good for now so I can just choose done when I'm done and you can see the before and after effects so that's pretty good for now um, I could go back and you know rework this I'm not gonna take my time today because if I were to really slow down for you you might get bored so I'm just wanting to show you how this can be done Next, I want to get rid of these wrinkles. I really just want to soften them up. Um, I don't want to use the clone tool. I'm going to come over here and use the heel tool. And the heel tool is basically um, replacing pixels with like a similar texture. So we're not really cloning them. We're just um, replacing them with different colors, keeping the texture pretty much the same. So I'm going to choose a pretty large brush and just doing this really quickly just to give you an idea of, of 
how this can be done. Now I'm choosing a pretty large brush. Depending on your photo, you might want to use a smaller brush size, but the smaller that you go, you get these little um, circle outlines, and it's really obvious that you did some retouching. And I'm even going to go, all right, I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to go back to the heel tool mean to do that okay so when I'm done I'm just gonna click done and you can see how all those wrinkles have been smoothed out and this looks pretty good now this is a little bit more sloppy but like I said um, we're gonna just keep pressing on so when I'm done filling in my background and I have it to where I you know pretty good you can even take it a step further so I'm gonna come over here to the brush adjustment brush tool and I'm going to come up here to my um, adjustment brushes that are already in Lightroom. These are all the brushes that I've created. Whoops. And I'm just going to come to the standard clarity brush. Now I'm going to set the amount pretty low. And basically this is just going to uh, blur the background. So I'm going to just brush over even brush over the very tips of this texture and then I can bring it as low as I want to. Now if this isn't enough blur for you just come up here and click new and you can apply the brush over that area again. So you can do this as much as you want or as little as you want and um, adjust the amount whatever looks good to you and whatever you know is good for your portrait so you can keep doing this over and over by clicking new um, and then running the brush over again so I'm going to just click done this might be a little too blurred for what I'm trying to achieve but this was a really quick way of showing you so I'm going to show you the before and after here let me show you this way so this was just using the um, spot removal tool and the brush tool. So we just did this really quickly within five minutes and you've got yourself a nice blanket fade right in Lightroom. So I encourage you to really practice on this if you have a lot of this um, kind of photography work. You can really do a good job and really make it look believable by using the spot removal tool and the brush tool. So if you found this tutorial useful, I'd love for you to, to, to subscribe to my channel um, for updated Lightroom tutorials. So make sure you check out my website at www.tubelooms.com where you can go and see this um, Lightroom collection that I used to edit this photo. And you can see a whole bunch of other Lightroom tutorials. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.